Good morning, everyone. I come to you not from inside my vehicle this morning, but sitting outside of a gas station waiting to go to work. And that is partially due to the time change. So I am an early riser, but with the time change, I am way ahead of schedule. So I wanted to wrap up this uh, special, I call it, I'd consider it like a special, um, I guess, feature or series on my channel. And you know the story already. I don't have to go through it again. Now, I am recording on my phone, so I cannot use notes because my notes are on my phone. So I will try to remember what I wanted to talk about. One of the things that I forgot to mention in, I think, video six, number 16, which was supposed to be my last video uh, in this series, but some things came to me after I finished recording that. So one of the biggest reasons for doing that, those videos, was to dispel or the myth or the notion that if an item is lower in price, I don't want to use the term cheap. If an item is lower in price, then a similar item doesn't necessarily mean that the lower price item is a scam or that it's no good or that it's cheap or that it's a ripoff. Briefly, when I started down this road, I priced the item I bought for about 140. There were two or three other similar items on eBay for about 450, 500. And I paid less and I got the same item that somebody was charging, what, two or three times more for. So consider that next time you see similar items and you be, you're thinking, okay, man, why is that guy selling it for $10? The other guy selling it for $50. The $10 item, it's got to be a scam or a ripoff. So please consider that. I wanted to share this experience and this information with my viewers. And I know I'm forgetting something. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't have to make a part, another part to this series. I, I want to wrap this up. Okay, and you are seeing the statue that I bought and that I received a few days ago. And I ordered this, I believe, on February 14th. No, 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 February the 4th. I received it on March the 11th. So, what is that, about five weeks? I uh, can't do the number, the math in my head. Okay, now, if you notice during my slideshow, there are a couple of notes. Oh, and by the way, before I forget to say this, if you look at hold on it'll come back up in a minute but there is a type note that is from the seller on ebay his name is fan hold on i can't remember it's fan she no hold on it's coming up anyway this is the seller that i bought from so if you are interested in this statue please contact him on ebay now uh, let me tell you this tell you this you will see an apology note or message that I sent to this seller and in response to that note I received a message from him this morning and unfortunately folks he is out of the half scale statues he did say he had the one one scale statue i did not inquire about the price because i'm not interested in it now if you are interested in it you might want to contact him and you know i would like to think that my series of videos on this statue helped to sell the rest of his half bus half scale bus because for months 
maybe three, four, five months. He had five of these for sale. And as soon as I bought one, the other, I'm sorry for that. I'm sitting outside, trucks are going by. Don't know if you can hear that noise. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, as soon as I bought one and did these series of videos, the other four are sold. And that is with a question mark because uh, he did say they were not available. I don't know if that means sold or just, I don't know what that means. But I would like to think I had something to do with selling those. We'll never know. At any rate, on his eBay page, it does still have four of these items for sale. I don't know the details, I didn't inquire. Uh, so take it with a grain of salt and <laughs> do what you will with it, that information. Okay, um, now back to these notes and messages. Oh, it, yeah, also in his last message to me, he did, he did say that he, well, he did apologize for the miscommunication between us. Mm. All right, so I'm about to wrap this up and try to upload it to YouTube and get it out today. Today is March the 13th, I believe. I want to try to get this out and get this uh, series wrapped up. Hopefully, it won't take 24 hours for this video to upload. So um, I, I got to keep it short. But back to these notes real quick. Once they come up, I need to refer to them. Okay, yes, and just for context to uh, make everything make sense, uh, I did say at one point I sent him a message after I received the that note that you see on your screen in the rubber wristband, I read it and it did say that he was shipping the statue. But again, you know, I was thinking scam. Um, and so right there, that was a big miscommunication, a misunderstanding on my part. But, you know, sometimes we get jaded in this uh, hobby or this collecting thing and especially dealing with eBay so I, I guess I let that take control of me. And I did apologize and you know, my background is communication. I've been to a lot of countries, uh, Korea, several countries in the Middle East, Germany. And I find that, you know, speaking to someone in their own language, it does, it goes a long way. So I did wrap up or close my note with thank you and I believe I said I am very grateful. Uh, I had to Google that. I don't speak Chinese, <laughs> so um, I did have to Google that. But hopefully, you know that went a, a good way, or as far as uh, letting him know that I did. I was sincerely sorry for that message that I sent to him. Okay, so before uh, I get out too touchy feely, I'm going to wrap this up, and uh, hopefully, hopefully. You, someone got something out of this if you by the way if you are one of the folks who ordered this statue after seeing my videos please let me know i'd like to know that i am doing some good for uh the statue community or statue or collectors in general all right so that's it uh thanks for doing this watching my video thanks for supporting my channel bye